Imagine you live in Gotham City and the notorious Joker has damaged a nearby dam. Water is everywhere, roads have washed away, and you're stranded at home. You don't have emergency supplies and you can't call for help because the cell towers are down. You're worried about your elderly neighbor who has essential power needs for their medical equipment. Where's Batman when you need him? This might sound like something out of a movie, but it's closer to real life than you think. Climate change poses serious threats to communities, just like villains threaten Gotham. Climate impacts are seen in more frequent and intense extreme weather events, like floods, fires, droughts, and storms. They damage infrastructure, threaten public safety, and can mean entire communities need to be evacuated. So if the Joker is climate change, who's Batman? Our communities. My project worked with four Alberta municipalities to one, understand how they're vulnerable to climate change, and two, identify realistic ways to improve resilience. Resilience means knowing your strengths and vulnerabilities and planning to reduce risk. Our resilience process was completed in two phases, like I mentioned before. Phase one used public climate data portals and stakeholder surveys to understand the community's preparedness to climate impacts. We gathered together stakeholders like municipal staff, first responders, and utilities to document the community's strengths and vulnerabilities. Phase two was all about selecting realistic ways of improving resilience based on what we learned in phase one. We assessed how the community compared to nearly 300 indicators of resilience, ranging from infrastructure and assets to policies and coordination. Stakeholders gathered again to prioritize actions and develop a plan to maintain momentum. Everyone has a role to play in resilience, and that's why getting together to talk about things is critical. Communities need to develop their local capacity to take on climate change, and that's why stakeholder involvement is key. Even Batman works with friends like Alfred and Robin to help him take on Gotham's villains. Community resilience is no different. What I learned is that while communities are not required to plan for climate change, they are already doing things that make them resilient. Strong emergency preparedness and local partnerships are ways that municipalities are coping with extreme events. But communities need to do more. Climate change isn't going away, just like the Joker is a constant nuisance in Gotham. Every municipality in Canada needs to undergo a climate resilience assessment and take action to reduce risk. It's through resilience planning that our communities can become the Batman to climate change's Joker.